On April 19, 2020, Wilmington police were called to a report of two missing women at 376 South Kerr Avenue. The reporting party was a roommate of the missing women, and she stated that the women went missing on, on or about the night of April 15, 2020. The reporting party was under the misconception that you couldn't report a missing person until 72 hours had elapsed. And again, she was the roommate of the missing girls. A missing persons report was filed. Both women were entered into the National Crime Information Center database. Officers on scene began the preliminary investigation as well as notifying detectives. It's not unusual for persons of this age group to be spontaneous in their behaviors. I have a, a child that age and certainly his behavior can sometimes seem It was also unusual that they had left all their property in the home. Inside the victim's apartment was actually unremarkable. There was no signs of foul play and much of the property was still in the apartment. Much of the missing person's property was still in the apartment so it doesn't look like they intended on leaving for a long period of time. Investigators have reached out and received assistance from numerous area law enforcement agencies, local, state, and federal. We've utilized Sable in a search for broad areas of interest in an effort to find the missing Dodge Dart, which I'm gonna, we're gonna be getting all y'all pictures of that Dodge Dart B car, because there's some specific identifying features on that car that we want y'all all to look at. Detectives of the Wilmington Police Department are taking every possible investigative step to develop any leads that arise in this case. And during the course of the investigation, which is still ongoing even now, Detectives have spoken with family members and are in the process of collecting information from friends, family, and co-workers of both missing women in an attempt to gather information as to where they may have gone and when they went missing on the night of April 15, 2020. During the investigation, we also recovered video of the missing women when they left their apartment on the evening of April 15, 2020. They were together, they got into the Dodge Dart together, and they have not been seen since that video. Their departure from the apartment appeared to be entirely normal. We're including still shots from that video footage which contains their clothing that they were last seen wearing. That will be in the release sent out to the media as well. Stephanie was wearing a black Nike sweatshirt with Just Do It on the front, black leggings with white stripes down the front to the back of the leggings and black Nike shoes. Paige was wearing a gray and color zip up sweatshirt with white pull strings and a white zipper, black leggings and black tennis shoes with a white stripe on the side. They both got into a 2013-2013 Dodge Dart, which is gray in color, bearing South Carolina license plate MVS902, Mike Victor Sierra 902. They left going north on Kerr Avenue. Please look at the stickers on the back window of the pictures of the Dodge Dart that we're including, as well as damage to the driver's side rear bumper of the car. Those two features make this car unique and quickly identifiable by members of the public. If you see that car, immediately call 911. The car is also listed in the National Crime Information Center database as connected to this missing persons case. We believe that it's extremely important for those in the entire Wilmington metropolitan area, including Brunswick and especially right now Brunswick County. We've got some active information that we're working right now and trying to corroborate. Uh, so Leland Police Department, Brunswick County Sheriff's Office, uh, Nevada and Northwest all need to be on the lookout for this vehicle as we do have some not tangible leads and not corroborated leads that the vehicle may be in Brunswick County. But our entire metropolitan area, to include Brunswick, Pinner, Columbus, and Onslow counties, need to be on the lookout for this gray Dodge chart. Please look carefully at the photos that we've sent out of the two women, as well as the clothing they were wearing on the night of 4-15-2020. And if any of Stephanie or Paige's friends or family members or co-workers have any information that may be relevant to where the victims may have been traveling to on the night of April 15th, we urge you to call 910-343-3620 to speak with a detective. You may also use our text to tip system by texting TIP708, your message to crimes, which is 274637. Your message must begin with TIP708. These tips can be sent anonymously. 
If you have seen these women since 415 2020, we again ask you to call or use text to tip. If you see the women at a location, immediately call 911 to get law enforcement to them. Once law enforcement gets in contact with them, it, they'll be listed as missing as well as their car. It's very important that we find them. I also want to add that Paige does have some loose connections to Spartanburg, South Carolina. She previously worked in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Uh, we know a lot more details about both of these women. I don't want to get into the minutia of, of all that. The investigation has been extensive, trying to figure out who they're connected to and where they went. And we're working all those leads trying to find them. And we really are really hoping that uh, this has a happy ending. I want to show you the pictures of their vehicle and point out some of the specifics that I want y'all to pay attention to. On the driver's side rear of the vehicle, there's a dent on the driver's side rear bumper. And also there are stickers on either side, passenger and driver's side of the rear window. Those stickers, the South Carolina tag and the damage to the rear bumper make this vehicle uniquely identifiable to anyone who sees it. It is a 2013 gray Dodge Jart. Uh, that's the only thing that I have to add on that picture. And we'll make sure that the media uh, gets that picture as well as the pictures of both women and the clothing that they were last seen wearing.